I had never heard of Marrakesh until I'd been there. And every time we went anywhere to look at anything, we were surrounded by boys. I'm obviously a tourist. What does that mean? Well, it could mean sex, could mean money, could mean all kinds of things. You should be ready as we walk through the soups. You will hear that. I want to marry you. Ooh la la, Savannah Gazelle. <laughs> you know, I always have this question in my mind. Did he ever love me? Did he maybe love me in the beginning and then was like, you know, this white woman is a way out, or was it all an act? Oh, and they may offer to buy you for camels. Ooh, how many camels are you worth? The last offer was 10,000 camels. That's a lot of camels. My wedding dress represents the union between Akra and I, but the door represents that this union was simply used. Oh my God, I love her so much. Why? Because she had, she had a big, big heart. In two years now, I've been to Morocco eight times. Trip number nine. He's not allowed to travel, needs a visa, and they're practically impossible to get. The man that I married had lied to me, had a child with a little girl. We talk about children. Roxanne, she is now 41 years old. So this is it's like uh, difficult. And then me too. I need you. Me too. I want you. All right now. Britek. Our biggest discussion is whether I'm going to wear a hijab after we get married or not. <laughs> yeah, that never, <laughs> never came up. Oh, I'm Berber. I only know one word in Berber, honey, and you don't want me to say it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> In Guinée, the person who me presented was a very good woman. The woman I knew in Africa was not the same woman. I have always wanted to get married and have a family of my own. People think that I'm crazy for marrying a Muslim. I'm with the first boy I met in Morocco. So I don't know what's in other boys' heads. <laughs> 